Hello and welcome to Witness. I'm Raggy Omar. Ugandan women today are a force to be reckoned with, trying to break down gender barriers and challenge inequality at every level. And now they're putting pressure on men in that most male of preserves, rally driving. The Pearl of Africa Uganda Rally is the second round of the famous African Rally Championship. And it's one of the toughest drives around. And some of the names that are regularly hitting the rally's headlines are women's. Rose, Susan and Leila are three extraordinary Ugandan women with an unusual ambition. For the last few years, they have been competing in this hugely challenging rally and have won some significant victories so far. But it's not been an easy ride for them, dealing with prejudice and physical stress, sponsorship and spare parts, and now they're preparing for the roughest rally in Africa. Super Ladies by filmmaker Samantha Asumadu is a colourful ride through the world of rally driving with the remarkable Rose, Susan and Layla at the wheel, pitting their skills and determination against an array of obstacles, both on the road and off. <laughs> The Pearl of Africa Rally is the most coveted motorsport title in Uganda. It's a pan-African event and a chance for Ugandans to pitch themselves against top international drivers, meaning the competition is stiff. For decades, the sport has been completely dominated by men. However, three Ugandan female rally drivers are now challenging the laws of nature. Leila Mayanja began rally as a navigator. She chose her name, the Blick Bullet, when she started driving. Rose Flying Cheek, Luakataka's ambition is to beat her husband, who is also a rally driver. Susan Mwonga's racing name, Super Lady, was given to her by her fans. We're in Kampala, Uganda's capital city, and it's two and a half weeks to one of the biggest rally events in Africa. Nice. <laughs> the Pearl of Africa is coming in the next um, two and a half weeks. I think in the next, in next week or two, I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm just going to be thinking about the rally, the car, just dreaming about it the whole time. My daughter, Camila, who's six years old, is riding today for the second time in a race. My other children, who are a little bit younger than Camila, haven't started racing, so we're doing one at a time, yeah? All this fast. When I was a child, my dad used to drive rally, so I've been following rally all that time. And then my husband started rallying as well. So I've been following this until eventually I sat in the rally car in 2008. I loved fast cars. And my husband used to praise me that you were a first driver on the street. So when I went into a circuit, I loved what the ladies were doing. That was Rose and Lyra. So I also developed the urge to join rallying. Since I love challenges, I want to go in where they don't expect ladies. Susan knows her skill in driving can only take her so far. Ultimate success depends on the reliability and condition of her car. I've already ordered four tires from South Africa. My shock absorbers are in Nairobi for repair. They are yet to come. Maybe two days from now, they will be in Uganda. Susan's got the reputation of being a tough competitor. Just two years ago, at the Pearl of Africa Rally, she was the second best Ugandan driver to finish. So everybody was excited, the media, my fans. Coming to Pearl of Africa 2009, I'm yet to attack.
day to day, I have business woman, mother, singer, a married woman, all of them. I know how to control them. I have three children. They are all boys. They want to be like drivers. My husband is also a like driver. He's a, he was a champion two years, 2005 and 2007. Rose, too, is a multi-trophy winner. She beat all other Ugandans, men and women, in the Pearl of Africa 2008. I prepared myself very well. First, my car. Second, my body. I went to the gym every day, so I was prepared for everything. That's why I won. When I drive, I want all trophies. The first overall, I want it. But I think those drivers, they are powerful. <laughs> Their cars, they are powerful than mine. If I got the car, which is like theirs, I can do that, I can get it. To do that, she needs funding. Rose has a meeting with a potential sponsor this afternoon and sits down to finish her proposal. It's hard for women because companies, they think men are better than women. If I don't get a sponsorship, I can't participate. Rally driving is a dangerous sport. The combination of rough roads and fast speeds mean that crashes are frequent. The women take it in their stride. My first time to roll, though I expected it, but at least I got scared. When the car was first rolling, after it had rolled twice, three times, four, then the fifth time, I had to settle. I tried to get out through the window when the car was not yet stable. So I had my fingers. I just saw blood coming out of the windows. You attack here. 300, turn medium right. Local competitors are able to do a recce of the long course a week before the rally begins. The navigators make their notes on the rough conditions of the roads. Susan's navigator, Edmund, is determined that this year they will complete the rally again. I want her to be the, uh, the, the champion of the year. I want her to lead. I want her to be on top of the men. If she's not number one, I, at least she should be the, the first best free. The navigator and driver partnership is crucial to their outcome in the race. Good communication leads to success between the navigator and the driver. You have to respond when he reads, when he cautions, when he gives you the next take. You have to respond so that he gets satisfied that you are listening and you are together. Susan is still facing the possibility that her car may not be ready for the race. Now, today is Sunday. My shock absorbers are not yet in Uganda, but come Monday or Tuesday, Simon from Nairobi will have delivered them. Leila's husband, Omar Mayanja, is her navigator. I think Leila is hungry for this. Yeah, she hasn't had a, a good result um, in a while, in a rally. Uh, specifically, uh, we've not finished the Pearl of Africa rally, because this is a rally that has a, a, a very high, of a, high rate of attrition. A lot of people are going to drop out. So um, really, I would say among the Ugandan crews, we, we are looking at uh, maybe a top three position. Despite being a multi-trophy winner and the highest place Ugandan in last year's rally, Rose isn't able to find sponsorship. I tried to get sponsors from many companies, but I failed. It's the end for Rose. She has to withdraw from the rally. Hopefully, we'll keep praying and hoping that she'll come back, because she was, she was good competition. Rally as a sport is really expensive, so having a sponsor by your side allows you to do more than, than if you are getting money from your own pocket. You don't have spares and things like that, 
So having a sponsor allows you to be able to rally better, to have better results. Sponsorship is a must. It's two days before the race and Susan's shock absorbers still haven't arrived. Without them, she won't be able to race. She'd be risking her and Edmund, her navigator's life. She's making frantic calls to Nairobi, trying to track them down. She's facing the real possibility of having to drop out. With Rose now out of the race, will Susan race and what's in store for Layla? Join me when we return to see what this demanding rally throws at our super ladies next.